meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 26th day of October 2021 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and a place of flag. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful day and be with this court as they make decisions for our county that will enhance our county and make it a wonderful place that it's always been and even better. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you, you have the bill, I mean, you have the uh, minutes of the October 12th meeting. Have a motion to approve. Move. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion, uh, corrections, or addition? No, on the minutes. Any, dis any discussion, corrections, or additions on the minutes? Thing now, all in favor say aye. 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 Hold like sign. Motion carried. Uh, now you have the bills, payments, payments, and transfers. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the uh, late list too. And no. including the late list. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Is there any discussion? On the bills, claims, payments, or transfers. I just blame yeah. it over the late list. Okay. And uh, what's the reason? I mean, I know you might not know. Oil and air filter change in a twenty-one dollars, two hundred twenty-eight dollars. Uh, well, that was. They might have done something else. I can get the bill if you want to look at it. Sometimes they, the filters and that title keeps on going, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't have enough. Yeah. Or they put some number on there that there's no way for us to know what it is, a part or something. Okay. Is it the home place, it's it got the roof on it now? That yeah. Was home, that's the uh, double line. Yeah, it's got the, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to see that. You don't have to go get it now. Okay. Like it. Uh, tell me, it was. Uh, on what the late list. On the late list, okay. Three from the bottom. Okay. Maybe I can text him and say. Uh, we're going to get to the minute with the uh, policy for the ARPA fund. I do. There it is. And everybody has a copy. I got a copy. Okay. I didn't read, okay, I've done read mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody has a copy. Okay. Anybody else got any questions on the bills, claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying the bills are paid. Do you have before you a policy? that we have to have in place. Now this may need a resolution number. It that's up to you. It didn't say it didn't that it say, had okay. to just, just the, make sure the court has me. adopted the policy for standards for me to follow. Okay. So policy now, policy for what? ARPA funds. Now we're spending ARPA. Yeah. So now yeah. this is after we said they qualify or is this gonna that's before default. anything happens. It, um, the ball, the project down. would have to be on a resolution before it can be paid. So the court has to approve it before a project can be paid. Right, which we've done so many already. Yeah, but I mean to put a new project on the list, is any of these guidelines going to hold, hold them up? Well, I mean, it can be presented to the court, but until it's on a resolution, it we. No money can be spent on it. That's what this it's is saying. A in, in a way, this is kind of behind. But we've already done yeah. two resolutions. This is just ways that we. 
Uh, we're not giving is out this money for future or the other yes. 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 We probably should have done it first. <clears throat> we just got got, and we still get it, but we got an email the other day that we should have this in place. And the only projects that we are proceeding with, you all have approved by resolution. And I don't believe there's anything on there that we wouldn't do anyway, but we just got to show But it's not too late for me to get on? No, we'll have another resolution yeah. probably in November to add <clears throat> things on. Now, give us just a minute, Bill. Let me look yeah. at this old thing. We had a contract at one time that we were yes. going to sign. Do you yes. still have that? Yes. Okay. I had the first one, um, the Rosine Community Park was our first one. And we're just having them sign a contract. Ann and I kind of worked up some language in a, on a contract where they will keep records uh, so that the court could see what money may have been spent on or what have you. Uh, and, and accurate reflection of what they received and everything of that nature. Now this is, you, this is, you might be another one too about hirees and, and is that not going to go like? What do you mean? You had another little contract, like if we hire a new person, they would let the... the that's for a department head on those full times. Yeah, so we are not going to approve no, that. that's just a, If you hire somebody, we you only have this money for a four-year period. And they have yeah. to sign off on it. And discussing with the judge, we just felt like those departments that got a full-time employee, uh, there needs to be a clear understanding between both the fiscal court and the department head that that employee is only for X number of years and at that time the funding ends. And that that employee will be doing what they were hired to do, not something else. When you're ready, don't think we have a motion yet on it. Be a motion to adopt the uh, uh, presented policy for our funds. I think so far we've already fit, we followed those things. Well, that, uh, that, I guess that was my question. Pretty much, we've already what done. we've been asked to do bids and different things. Uh -huh. uh, what I can see, most of it adheres to this. Yeah. Yes, yes we, we would do it anyway. <coughs> no okay, I'll enter. I'll enter. Motion Blair King. Second. Second to Sam Small. Further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Harper funds. Po uh, policy. Yes. Have you all talked any more about what you're going to do for the, the other cities and the fire departments? We're meeting next we'll week. Well, I think. But Charlie said the judge talked to him about meeting with the Bar Association tonight or tomorrow night. Well, I didn't give any certain time. I'm okay. going to talk about it under committee report. Okay. So, uh, uh, next up, we're going to call on uh, Jim Duke is here to make a presentation for, uh, for the uh, MA. From Top Care. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I believe it was at the last meeting or the meeting before last. Uh, one of the court members had requested that we think about was there anything that was needed for your EMS service that possibly could be put on the list for ARPA funds that would would benefit the community. And and obviously, there's always items, but I tried to look at something that was real important. Things that were. In, in dire need of being replaced and that were a responsibility of the court to provide and not something that Comcare normally provides. So the thing that come to mind was the cardiac heart monitors. We're currently using the majority of our heart monitors are what's called a life pack 12. We've had them for about 15 years. Uh, they've reached the end of their service life. We cannot get them repaired. When they break down now, life pack will no longer repair those. So as they break down, they're just out of service. So last year during COVID, you, you guys purchased two of those LifePak 15s, which is what replaced the 12. Those were replaced units that had broke down. Uh, 
it has allowed us to continue through this year without having a, a significant decrease in our ability and capability. So what I have submitted uh, to Ann was a couple of quotes for additional Life Pack 15s and additional uh, ventilators, which is a, a, a small unit that we use when somebody's not breathing that we can breathe for them without somebody having to be there to ventilate. EMS across Kentucky and across the United States is experiencing a tremendous staffing problem, as is I think all workforces are. Um, as a result of that, sometimes we're responding with less people. I mean, we still got the required two, but we don't always have those extra second, third, third or fourth person. So this ventilator helps replace a person when you're dealing with a patient that, that can't breathe. So the quote that I had given Ann was for three life track 15s, which would bring the court up to owning a total of five, which is probably all we need. And that would meet our needs for the foreseeable future in regard to cardiac monitors. In our contract with the county, the, the, the items that the court is required to provide, and basically Comcare provides everything else, the court provides the ambulance, the heart monitor, the stretcher, and the uh, mobile radio and the ambulance. So, you know, the heart monitors is something we try to get as much life out of as we can. Typically, uh, they say you should replace them every seven years. We, we try to go as long as we can, as long as they're still usable, reliable, and we'll do the job, we'll, we'll keep using them. But these, these units, this year we'll lose a couple more anyway that will just break down and we won't be able to repair them. They're just getting a lot of age on them. What was the cost on those, Jim? The total cost for the three heart monitors, and we looked, Larry, I got two quotes. I got one for a new one, and I got another one for a refurbished one that's the same model as the new one, same warranty, but it's it's been used and then refurbished, and it's considerably cheaper. So the three monitors and the uh, the, uh, the <coughs> ventilators, I think everything together, and you may have to help me here, 45000 I believe it was was a grand total for all of that. And the new monitors, three new monitors, was $90,000. So it's considerably less money if you buy them reconditioned. So we, and we bought all of our monitors at all the counties we operate in, we buy them reconditioned. We've never had a problem. You know, the warranty's the same. So the life I'm here expectancy is the same too? Sir? The life expectancy on them? Yeah, it's the version the fours, thing. which means it's the most modern version that, that they're making of the life pack 15. So yeah, the life expectancy on them is as good as a brand new one. So when they refurbish it, it's pretty much what they're doing is giving it back to you. It's, it's kind of hard to tell looking at the two between right. a new and it. There might be a little scratch on it here or there, but we can't tell any difference. It's like, oh. right. And these heart monitors do 12 lead capability where if you've got a patient having a heart attack in the field, we can do a 12 lead on them and send it to the hospital and they know then if they're having a heart attack and then we can make a decision, do we take them to a, a hospital that has a cardiologist and the ability to take them straight to the cath lab or not. We right. can make those decisions in the home versus having to wait till they get to the hospital and make that decision. How long have they been on the market, the new ones? The 15s have been out probably for about eight or 10 years, but the version four, the ones that you all have got quotes on, the, the latest version, about three years, Larry, that they've been out. No issues with them? Oh, no, no. They're, they're pretty much the industry standard. No problem. Why do yeah. they refurbish them then, Jim? Why do they? If somebody if trades them in and they just go through them and make sure everything works, and they maybe if the case has been scratched up, they'll put a new case on it, which isn't that big a deal, you know, and then they'll sell them as a refurb versus yeah. a new one. Now, they don't come from the same, the same retail outlet. Right. Physio, which is a company, we buy the refurbished ones from a biomedical company out of Nashville that buys all kinds of different biomedical equipment, goes through them, makes sure they're up to full standards and, and sells. Basically, they're used. I mean, that's another way to look at it. But once we put them on a truck and use them for a week, they're used anyway. So I hate to see the court spend an additional $45,000 just for something to be new for about a week, and then it's not new anymore either. So. Especially the same warranty. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, the Dixie Med gives a better warranty on their refurb units than Physio does on a new one. <laughs> they give two years, where Physio gives one. Yeah. I'll be glad to answer any questions. The little ventilators—they're about, uh, as part of that whole package, they're about three thousand dollars. But 
they allow us, once again, if the person's not breathing, we, we secure their airway, then we can hook them up to this little ventilator as opposed to having to have somebody sit there and ventilate them. And it just makes managing that patient a lot better. We've had a whole lot of that over the last 18 months. We had a very critical, very critical sick patient last night that had to be taken to Lexington from here. Matter of fact, Helen made the run and, and along with two other, we had three paramedics made that run, the patient was so sick. And without a ventilator and without a modern monitor, that almost, we about couldn't have made that run. Uh, so yeah. we want to do a motion on this or just? Uh, no. just let's do it and, no. and let's do it and then we'll put it in that resolution. Oh, okay. But we'll, that way we're committing to Jimmy and then We'll be on resolution. You'll have to vote on it. I mean, I'll make a motion that we uh, run through this. Add it to the Add the three live packs and how many ventilators? I think it was six ventilators, one for each truck. Six ventilators we'll for forty-five thousand dollars. I'll say just a that won't be a problem. I, the answer said we can formally bid that out. We can we can take care of that. Joe What was the amount? Forty-five and change. And that we'll see that again, gentlemen, on the resolution yeah. at the next meeting. Okay. So all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like to sign. Thank you, Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Appreciate it, Jim. Uh, this uh, re uh, resolution 2022-18, I wish Charlie was here. Oh, that's, oh, oh. that's for him. She's bringing it up. Brad. For FEMA. Out the recommended paperwork, but we have to pass it through court because it has a resolution and an agreement attached. Did you grant the one for what? Yeah. FEMA money. No, oh, okay. The, the, uh, probably this rough river part thing that we've already got so much okay, in. Okay, so move there. Second. And, and uh, Larry, that also authorizes me to sign this paperwork. Okay. Did you get that in the biggest for our yes. that argument? Okay. Can you sign it? Is it for the rough river project? Is that what it is? Everybody got Nope, just you. Okay. Larry, uh, Charlie said $80 yes. was the filter, 85 the oil, and the rest was the labor. Second, right? Yeah. Wouldn't want to buy many filters. It's been full, isn't it? $65. What was it for? Yeah. $85. $85 yeah. for the filter. $85 for the filter. Yeah. 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 What we're dealing with oil. oil. Um, How much was the oil? Eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Helen said they took theirs and it had it's gone up. Mine went up from thirty-five dollars. My, my personal vehicle down there went whole way up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, thank you. Everything's. I don't think it's $35 anymore, but it's a bigger truck. It's a big truck. Yeah. Back in the day, I disagree with that, too. She says FEMA. Uh, and he's working, is he working over there now? Yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah, I saw him a couple days ago. I will tell you, when I go to the we vote on that yet? Yeah. No. Okay. Not, I have a motion to say. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Those like to sign that passes. And similar to that, we have the 2022-19 20, uh, product development initiative. Oceda, that's that grant we applied for for the uh, power line, correct? Yeah, we we all met down at the hub and talked about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 20, I'll make a motion. To, motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Town. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. 
Motion carries. Uh, have one little personnel issue. As you know, we've had a lot of problems keeping custodian at the courthouse. So tonight I get Jesse Willis, uh, courthouse custodian, part time, 1133, level one. Roll call. Gentlemen, we also, in the wage committee, verified the scale for the level one and what he's doing. So. Okay. Didn't we just hire one here? Yeah. Last, last meeting, wasn't it? Mm. What happened to him? Gone. I hear that. When you don't succeed, try to try again, I suppose. So, roll call. Kim? Who, me? Yes. <laughs> Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. <coughs> okay. Uh, under committees, got a couple things before I turn it over to others. I want to uh, appoint the Firefighters Association, and if one of you gentlemen would volunteer to serve with the Firefighters Association on this committee, and what we want that committee to do is to review any any uh, fire department's requests, just to look them over, so it's been an advocate for it. Tell everybody to holler at once. How many people do you need? One from the court. They'll fight, serve with the Firefighters Association. Why don't you oh. do that, Joe? I'll do that. Okay, Joe Barnes and the entire Firefighters Association. Okay, that's done. Yeah, it's just over concerning, just over their spine for like. And the requests they have to okay. have. We'll get a little more scrutiny before they come to Okay. Uh, that's kind of what we're trying to do. Uh, we're, we're open uh, now to uh, magistrate's comment. No, I'm sorry. We're looking for uh, committee reports, and we'll have Justin give us a deal committee report today. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have uh, prepared the interlocal agreements. Those have been signed, forwarded back to us from Charlie. Uh, we've sent those to the state for approval. Uh, we also, they also wanted us to, uh, to write a uh, management agreement between the three counties and how the jail would be managed in a sense a very general kind of scope agreement I've written that sent it to both uh, uh, county attorneys for review I've heard from one of them he's he's approved it and and how it's written it's still not specific as to exactly where the jail would be located so there's some more specific terms that we put in later but the general sense of the agreement has been agreed to by one of the county attorneys and I'm waiting to hear from the other. I called him uh, uh, Monday afternoon. I've not heard from him yet, just, and we've emailed him. Uh, and so we just wait to hear from one. Okay, so we, everything's moving um, and hopefully before the end of this calendar year, we can have some major announcements to make and maybe design people's hired and things like that. And then we, and hunt for funding. Yeah. David, do you think that uh, maybe be a good idea that uh, uh, the judges meet and uh, try to find uh, at least an understanding of which county we're going to put it in? Yes, and I think we left that open because, well, it won't be in Edmondson, but it'd be in Ohio and Butler, and I think we kind of left that open so it would give us a shopping uh, thing between uh, I-65 and 231 connection there if we want to be within two miles. Yeah. Now, it's my understanding that, uh, well, frankly, Butler County had rather see it located in Ohio County. Well, uh, one or two of the magistrates. One or two of the magistrates. The judge <laughs> doesn't mind where it's at, and, yeah. and I don't think any of us do, no. but that would be okay with us. And I think that... Uh, yeah, better can come for us. Yeah. Sure. Once it's, more jobs. I guess Fordville's out of the picture then. Just a little humor there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> now, just as soon as we get a I-165 run through the yeah. um, Now, that would be too far from Butler County. I hear this all. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, we going to move forward on this pretty soon. And maybe we can get, the, when we get this contract back, I think we will meet and we'll try to come up with more of it, just uh, on uh, trying to nail this down and possibly even get with all three counties and get an option or a contract place and decide who's going to be. After Justin hears from this other county attorney, then uh, I wonder what the time frame is hearing back from the state on whether they accept or whatever. According to 
our uh, engineer company we had here, you was there with us. Should be pretty quick. And then we can start looking for funding. Uh, any other committees meet? I know speak. Wage Committee did. That's well, are you going to speak on Wage Committee, Sam? Yes, yeah, Sam. Well, we just, I just we, talked on the Wage Committee on what we said about that, looking over that one person. Yeah. And, and uh, what about anything else you discussed? No, we, 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 we brought up some topics and there's some further information that we're going to okay. pull this, on that. So, so this is the only thing you brought out to yeah, me. Yeah. Everything is still in committee. Okay, uh, of course, you know, at the next court meeting, we're going to have a road committee meeting at four. Okay. If you choose to meet, you can meet earlier than that. If you choose to meet this meeting back, okay. Waste Committee, you can do it before four. Um, and, and the big discussion there is the road supervisor is bringing a request for more, another piece of equipment, too. And that's why we're having it there. And I think I've told most of you what it is. If I haven't, well, ask me and I'll tell you. Uh, Judge, did you ask him about that information I'd like to have before we have that uh, meeting? Uh, I meeting? have not, but I will. Okay. It was just, I want the last five years how much we spent on that particular type of excavator and then go back 10 years. And I want to see if there's people to buy one or the more people to rent. Okay. Would that include like where we rented it or had yeah. ER trucking? Yeah, yeah. ER trucking would be the biggest one, but then we rented that one from Rust for that whole year of that time, and then a more recent when we had uh, Rupp River Project. Yeah, Rupp River Project recently. But it, it's, it's uh, what well, I need, well, the information I want is how much money was spent on the excavator for the last five or ten years, or even each year. Yeah, whatever. I think we had a couple, well, we had a couple big projects last year, didn't we? Yeah. Some, and we in, and then there was one year we was down there at uh, huge um, one down there. Fun run that we had, had two of them down there. Yeah, yeah we had to take two out and put one yeah. very big one in. And Nick can provide us with the information we need, what we're looking at, forecast the next five years as for how much the needs going to be. Yeah, that's what I'd like to have before we go into that road piece. Okay. Nick. Is that we'll the company? Was there any other company other than Rust? ER contract. ER. Just yeah. those two. I believe just those two. Well, other than what we just we rented this one straight from the company. And the, uh, this, Wayne. Yeah, this recent rental, I believe it was Wayne. Has it went back yet? Have they sent it back yet? No. No. It's up in his district now. Then that's what we're going to do that clean out of North Branch with. That's what uh, the rent's going toward the rent all in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, yeah. They're, that's what yeah. we're discussing whether it's, it's more feasible to rent or more feasible to just go ahead. My understanding is what we've paid out in rent so far will go toward the purchase it does. of it. So, all that has to come into the equation and see where right. I come up. We set it up when they was going to do that rent to own, not knowing how long we keep it, but it, that way, if it was when we got done with all the projects and FEMA got done and everything, we would have the option to buy out the remainder. Yeah. So, and it may be a plus for us. It may be. Um, Okay. I think they want me to show something real quick on the ARPA committee. Yeah, please. So, uh, you know, we hired Jimmy Cantrell, and we talked about the program. It's going to be called the ARP program, which is called Assisting Returning Citizens with Hope. Um, I think this is kind of the logo they want me to show. Um, now, I do know that it might be have some color in it. You know, David was saying, so it might change a little bit, but, you know, they, they've got a logo, and that's what it's. You know, for people out in the public that want to see this arch, like I said, uh, returning or uh, assisting returning citizens with hope. Uh, it's going to be the logo. Now, you guys, I guess you're going to decide what color. It might have a little bit of color in it, according to David. By the way, he hit the ground running. And he has hit the ground running. running. It hit the ground running. It's already making progress. Uh, Jimmy can't trade. Just that's the season, that's a program ready. we added with our, I mean, our proposal. He's going to give us some great ideas outside the of the community. Of this, side of it, right? The four year program dealing with the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that we have to prove this logo. I no, just wanted y'all to look at it. Yeah. See if you had any thoughts. No. And the name of it, I read, I mean, that's just well thought out. I mean, do you want us to vote? I mean, I think that's great. I don't know. Arch. Starting from the bottom. Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, it's, it's fine. Everybody has one in your packet. Yeah, mm -hmm. they did have. I'm like David. I'm going to have to go along with him on this. 
Well, color. they sent it over in a PDF file, and I tried to change the color, but it wouldn't let me, so it's black and white. So let's <laughs> say if it's red, had red and blue in it, it'd be perfect. And I'd encourage any of you to meet with him. He and I have discussed a lot of things on a number of topics. And he is, uh, uh, seems to be, I, I didn't know him before the job, but uh, uh, he seems to be doing a pretty good job. And, and uh, he, we've, uh, the sheriff uh, signed on to help a little bit, and he's uh, left one of these uh, fleet cars that was unmarked, so it doesn't look like a police car. It's going to be transferred to uh, Jimmy's uh, thing. And he'll figure out how he's going to use it. It's one of the tra as transportation to work for these folks. Somebody will have to take them, but we have a car automobile for it. And I, that's already in place. I really do believe there's hope in that. I, never did. You know, I know from personal experience that, uh, not me personally, that it does right. work. Is there any other committee reports? Being that, go, go to magistrates uh, for requests and. Uh, Thank you. We'll start with you, Sam. Uh, just want to tell everybody even about this. I'll leave it up to you when it gets to you. But, uh, okay. Uh, no, I don't have anything else to say. Well, uh, I'll go ahead since Sam mentioned it, so don't forget it. In November, you blind the public needs to know this too. Uh, our in person meet in November, there's Thanksgiving, and, and then in uh, December, there's Christmas. So we're going to have one full meeting in each month. That's November the 9th and December the 14th. On November the 30th and December the 28th, we're going to pay bills only. That's the only thing the meeting's going to be. We'll try to do it by Zoom. Anybody needs help with that, we'll send help to get that done. And it'll only be one motion and one vote, and that'll be bills and claims. Oh, and we will get the bills and claims to you a few days early. I'll let you. If I need to hand deliver them, we will. So you'll have them in hand. So that was a, okay, Jason. No. Joe. No, thank you. Thank you. Good. There. Have you heard from Scotty's? Are they going to try to come back and try to finish something? Mid-November. Mid they're coming back and they're going to bring that grinder in and do Sherwood Drive repair. That's the one you helped us engineer. And then, uh, then they're going to do the other pavement that they got filled for while they're here. I don't know I'm whether they lack on the pavement. Quite a bit. They got all the basically just got the uh, flex. flex done. Yeah. Uh, judge, I wonder, you know, I've asked about before, I don't mean to sound redundant, but on Highway 69 from Lake Orchard to Dundee, I, I noticed they come in there and passed, and I was hoping that uh, they would. Uh, have you heard anything about that? Or? It, it doesn't look like it's going to happen this fall, but it's on the state's uh, roster to get done, and it was actually supposed to have been done this year. Okay. Yeah, I told people that it's I thought that was the case, but it, it is, and it's just the when, and I was always assured it'd be done this year. But still looking pretty. And they already insane. awarded it to Congress, uh, so yeah. will Chris be able to give you a better time frame when they think the bill? I'll ask. See if you can. What the problem is they're not getting all this is they got bigger jobs. And Scottish don't have no competition. That's why we last couple years we're getting left out. Well, they got the interstate. They got all these ramps to build. They got so much work right now. That's November. Okay, uh, J Justin, you got anything? No, yes, thank you. Uh, is anybody got anything for the good, the body, and the public? Mr. Gates, you want the same thing? Uh, yeah. I'm David. You and I have talked a lot of time, but go ahead and tell us what's on your mind. Okay. Do I need that mic or can you hear no, me? No, we hear you. Oh, okay. Well, it's about this uh, farm I own over on 764 where I live. The road's been flooded for 14, 15 years, maybe before that even, but uh, anyway, it's it's dangerous. But I got a farm laser there, and my neighbor behind me built a dam on his property right across the line from me. About eight foot tall, and it's backed water up on me for 14 years. Never got a permit to build it, nothing. I fought it for, well, about two or three years ago, it washed out. Mother Nature will do its job. Well, it had no permit on it. I thought, well, thank God, you know, I'm going to make a crop. Well, he goes in there and rebuilds it, but this time he got a permit from the same guy, 
Corps of Engineers wrote him a permit. I didn't know any of this until he sued me for a right of way. And he, sued, he sent me all this information or I wouldn't know anything. So, he put it back in, raised it a little bit more, packed it a little more, and uh, holds a little more water back. But they ain't made a crop in a while, you know, and I'm kind of tired of working for him, or holding his water is what I'm doing. I'm in a pond now. I got hills on my side. The creek's high on the other end. The highway's high on this end, and it used to go through my farm, right down through his, wherever it went. For years and years, I guess hundreds of years. Well, when he put that dam in, that stopped it. So, what it's done now, it's backing up in my in that ditch between me and him that he's plopped off on the other side. Coming out in my fields, laying there. It's coming across from his farm on me. Creek gets out on me. I got everything up here that my hills, you know, and it's higher, a lot higher. Well, when everybody else's water goes off, I've got four days my crops sit there in the water because I've got it tiled or had it tiled. It's all stopped up now. Had it tiled twice. And it's stopping up again. I can't carry all that water to the creek, you know, before my crop grounds. I've explained it to several people, these corpse engineers or whatever, you know, they, unless, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're even alive. But I'm about to starve to death working my ass off, you know, and I'm about to get fed up with it. And I need some help from yeah. somebody. And somebody told me there's, y'all have meetings over here and they up there to, uh, there's a guy up there to Rough Creek or something, one of them creeks up there that's flooded that come out here and voice his opinion a while and they might do something. So I'm gonna be here till I get something done. Yeah, oh, and another thing, I also had two oil wells pumping, which made me about, back then, about 5,000 each tank, a little over 5,000, 5,300 each tank, made almost three tanks a year. Never did get the third one, but it all, well, none of that. That's all been flooded. The motors don't work. No, and I'm still paying an electric bill because the damn thing, if it gets cut off, I'll never get that put it back in. And I keep hoping that I can get them back on pumping and make me some more, you know, income. Crops been flooded. You guy can't stand this forever. And uh, I'm about down to where, you know, I'm gonna have to either let him buy my farm, which is what he wants to do, cheap though, or I'm gonna have to sell it on public auction and then he'll buy it there. But uh, that's not a very good choice no. to have. No, and it, it's, it's uh, by the way, I've been out to his place and seen the situation it again is one of those things where I can only imagine how frustrated he is because we've been frustrated with him. It's just that we're glad to scratch your head. Uh, we've been dealing with for at least two years, both the Division of Water and the uh, uh, Corps of Engineers and keep trying to get the, uh, Mr. Gates some help there and it, it's not happened. And, uh, uh, I guess he did hear about, is it Mr. Hayden that come here? Haynes. 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 Mr. Haynes yeah. that come here so long. And finally we reached into a bag of tricks and finally found a way that we could help him and we justified it because a, a county road was being threatened. In his case, it's a state road. So I'm afraid the best we might can be able to do now, since the Division of Water didn't solve his problem, neither did the Corps of Engineers, he's definitely been wrong. I mean, any of you go out there and look at it, there's absolutely no doubt of that. It's just our authority here is not much um, in that category. But just come up with the idea, maybe we will call in the state highway engineers and let them listen to this. Well, they got the water line also marked on the bridge, and any fool knows the bridge is the highest thing on the road. And they say that's the high, that's where they're going off of when they measure the water. The dam's even above the bridge in places in a low spot it's over it's over six foot well i rebuilt it he raised it a foot or two but that's besides the point you know you don't want it to wash out twice i don't guess but mother nature ain't helping me up who, who can give them the permit back, you know who give them the permit the second time around corpse of engineers uh really yeah 
And and I think if, if you look at it, it just don't seem reasonable. The dead is probably done through some sort of mistake. So it does have great. And another thing, Mr. Gates, I'm sorry that I'm adding this, but but you've told me this. Uh, of course, it sounds like a civil case. He's not been able to hire a lawyer. Well, I've tried that. That's why I said you weren't able to. Yeah, I've tried uh, five different ones, and I, every time I, I'm in a good lawyer, if I want to get one, I don't want somebody who's no good. Five times they've told me that there's lawyers all together, but uh, they he's got them on a retainer. Somebody in the office can't, nobody in that office can work for me if, it, if their boss, top dog up there, is on retainer with this fella. I've been turned down to five, maybe six. I've lost track now. So, my hands have been tied every way I go. Well, Mr. Hay, uh, now he's on suing me from a right of way that I've owned for 30 some years. Well, serve me papers on that. Gonna we'll we'll take that away from me too if he can. They'll get you. I can't afford to fight this fella, you know? He owns half Ohio County and uh, third of Davis or whatever. You think some of these, uh, the state engineers could, uh, Maybe That's what I'm thinking. The only thing I'm thinking about right now, Mr. Gates, if you come back uh, next month, their meeting, which is uh, what day we say it was, it was November, 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 9th. 9th. November the 9th, we'll try to have some state engineers here. All right. And see if they can come up with Well, and things. another thing, as you know, Judge, I've tried everything that I know to try, and I'm the only one that don't, don't know anything about this. Only way I knew that, that the guy did that, that was all secret too, when he sued me for the road right away, which I gave up yet and don't aim to, but you know, enough lawyers can do enough stuff. But anyway, his name was on that. That's the only way I found out that. I've got no information from none of these cats to let me know what's even going on. And uh, you know, I don't think that's quite right in a free country as they supposedly call it. And I am voicing my opinion as stern as I can because I'm about to run out of money. And you've been uh, talking to me about it for about two years, I guess at least, and we've had Charlie Shields contact the uh, Corps of Engineers and the uh, Vision of Water Boat for on several cases. It might be good, David, if you get the state engineers to go out there and look at it before we have a meeting. We will. We will. That way they can shed a little bit of light on it at the meeting. Yeah. Now, this is one more thing I got to say. When he put this up, I knew it was going to flood me. It don't take no brain to figure it out. So I went over there one day when he hauling dirt in there from up on the hill. He didn't get it down there where it's at. Yeah. Hauled out a bunch of rock up on the hill and dumped it in there. And I said, man, don't do this. I said, you're going to flood me. Oh, no, it won't flood you. Well, it did. But I was a while reacting, you know. I mean, man, you just kind of scratch your head, like, man, I can't believe this, you know. Right. And I know it's illegal to build a dam without a permit. That's been going on for years and years and years. It's political, I know that much. But I'm not a politician, don't know any. I ain't sure I want to know any, you know. But that being said, I've done everything I could manually do, physically and otherwise. Well, it's good. we've heard you. Anything we could do, we will. Like I said, we'll try to get those road engineers out there and say, we'll get them on board. Uh, and we'll reintegrate it with, uh, we'll have Charlie to reach back out to the Corps of Engineers and the uh, Division of Water, see if possibly we can have any of them here. Well, if they don't think it's right, they might be able to shed more light on the yeah. issue with the Corps. Well, yeah. I talked to that guy, whatever his name is, and he said, well, they, they come out there, they've looked, and this and that, and I said, well, you need to come out here when I got six foot of water on my farm. And I ain't shit, you know, at the end of my, where that dam is, there won't be no water on that side at all, and I'll have four, five, six foot of water on me. I mean, and I've had them take pictures, fly it, send it in to people, I, and I don't have any pictures, you know, I never get anything back. I got a bunch on my phone. I've done everything humanly possible. And so I it, don't know it, what else I could do. Is it ponded up right now at all times, or is it, or is it when you get a headwater like a big rain? Well, it takes a pretty good rain to pond me up. Yeah. My tile would rain ordinary rain, which that's what it's supposed to do, but it ain't supposed to drain thousands of acres. Right. 
and it's all stopping up with silt, you know. You, that, that ain't what a tile is for, not to drain everybody's land, it's to drain your own. But that dam put me in that pond, and I can't get nobody to help me. I've got a track hole, and I'm going to go over there and dig it out for long, because I can't stand much more. To make me a crop, I'm going to have to go over there and reach across my property and across to another ditch It's about eight foot wide, which I barely can reach and drag out that dam and throw it somewhere on me. And I'm sure I'm going to have to go to jail, but I'm down to that. I really am. We sure understand your frustration and presume we'll try to at least get you some more ears to listen to. These guys are sympathetic to what you've done. It's just not in Well, our, if you farm for a living, you would be. And this guy's a farmer, but he's, you know, he's got some dry dirt there. Mm -hmm. And I've got the water that he should have had. Yeah, I got and, you. Uh, and some more that he owns on up the place. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's get the, uh, the state engineers on the road department over there and, and get them to look at it, and then we'll have them come and, and uh, explain things at the next meeting, the November 9th meeting. November the 9th. Okay, what's your house number? That's where your driveway is. Huh? What's your house number? 8071 State Route 764. Used to be highway, now they call it State Route. Yeah, I got you. Well, well I just want to give that to the engineers from the state. 8071. We'll get Charlie to go yeah. out there and make sure they get right the there on uh, Yeah. And the bridge is really right near there. The I got on both sides of the creek. My side's flooding worse because the other side gets kind of going down through them sloughs and stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah. But on me, you don't have nowhere to go. Okay. I you build it. a pond and you got water in it. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll get on it. All right. We'll do all, if for anything we can do, we will. Uh, anybody else got anything for good to body? If not, this meeting's adjourned. Next meeting, please. I didn't write it down. No, no, November 9th. November 9th. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock.